Bow and Skew, how to measure and correct. Bow and skew are types of pattern distortion across the width of Broadland carpet. Bow is when the pattern in the center of the product leads or trails the pattern at the edges. Skew is when the pattern on one side leads the pattern on the opposite side, also referred to as pattern bias. The preferred method to measure bow and skew is with a laser square. Line the laser up on a distinct yarn or pattern element along the edge of the carpet. Follow the pattern across the width and measure the greatest deviation from the laser. This is the total amount of bow and skew. A second option is to use a T-square or framing square in a dry line. Line the square up on a pattern element at the edge of the carpet. Anchor the dry line at the edge of the square. Pull the line across the carpet and move it until it is against the square. Follow the pattern across the carpet and measure the greatest distance from the string. In this case, there is a two inch combined bow and skew. This is not within manufacturing tolerance. Can this carpet be installed in an acceptable manner? Absolutely. By row cutting the selvage edge and butting the carpet to the wall, then cutting across the width on pattern, you can clearly see the amount of pattern correction needed. Begin the installation by row cutting both sides of the seam on pattern and aligning the seam. Fold both seam edges back approximately three to four feet and apply shawl 1000 or similar adhesive with a 1 8 by 1 8 by 1 8 U-notch trowel. The required open time varies depending on temperature and humidity. The adhesive is ready when you press an adhesive ridge to the floor and the glue shows legs when lifting your finger. Lay the first seam edge into the properly tacked adhesive. Create a trough for seam sealer with a hook knife. Apply seam sealer to the cut edge of the carpet up to the bottom of the primary backing. Match the pattern at the seam with a crab stretcher. Final adjustments will come later as the pattern is squared. Continue the installation by folding back the rest of the carpet, applying adhesive, and laying the carpet in after the adhesive is properly tacked. By utilizing dry lines as guides, the pattern distortion can be corrected using mini stretchers and knee kickers. Anchor the line or string on a specific pattern Follow the pattern across the seam to the far wall and attach the other end to the same pattern element. Measure from the end wall to the string at both ends to keep the pattern square with the wall. Pull the pattern to the line with a crab stretcher to straighten and square the pattern. Measure from the first line and anchor a second as you continue to work the pattern from the front wall to the back. Continue to pull the excess carpet towards the back wall, squaring it to the second line. Kick the carpet flush to the back wall and trim the carpet as needed. If pattern elongation was an issue, power stretchers and a dead man would be needed. By using the proper amount of the right adhesive, there is sufficient time for pattern correction. Roll the entire job with a 100 pound roller in both length and width to finish the job. This Instant Advantage has been brought to you by the Shaw Learning Academy and the Product Support Group.